Hi guys, welcome to a number beer review going over to Belgium this time and we're looking at a, a creek or a creek um, which I've not had for quite a while. I think the last one I had similar to this was from Lindemans and was it the no it wasn't the Pharaoh, it was the oh, I just imagine with Copperberg though. Um yeah they, they can be a bit hit and miss. Um, these sorts of beers but any beer can be hit and miss at the end of the day so we're going over to Timmermans which is the world's oldest Lambic brewery and we're looking at the Kriuk Lambicus which is clocking in at 4% ABV uh, not exactly sure uh, where these guys are situated over in Belgium. I mean lots and lots of tiny writing there. No way that I'm going to be able to read that but it comes in a cute little 25 centiliter bottle, 4% ABV, beautifully presented, lovely label on the front with a very traditional photo and then you've got this lovely neck foil and that's covering what I think is just a plain crown. So uh, yeah, I've just been able to deal with my mother who is coming over to Germany next week or whenever you're seeing this, she'll probably already have been. And uh, yeah, having to sort out some stuff. I mean, the woman didn't even know how to copy and paste on a laptop. So yeah, it was, it was a fun time. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to my family coming over, but it's, it's the panickiness or the, 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 like, I don't know, it's like, before then, it, I can be just like, I can't be arsed with this. Uh, I get the same way when I'm preparing to go somewhere. You know, you start getting things played in your head, and yeah, it's it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I use my little beer deluxe glass, which, uh, again, I don't know how much can fit in this one. Maybe it's just enough for the Lambic on the creek. Which think is brewed, is that with cherries? Yeah, they look like cherries. Well, it definitely looks like a cherry, cherry aid. Uh, nice clarity in that. Carbonation seems nice and active. There's a little bit of frog spawn, as you can see on the bottom of the, the glass. Well, probably not clean this properly. No, it seems to be sticking around here. Carbonation is nice and active. Lovely red, reddish hues in this one. And the beer poured with two fingers worth of an almost like candy floss looking head. So it's definitely looking like what you'd expect it to be. Let's see what it's like on the aroma. It smells like a Bakewell tart. lovely cherry notes coming through on this one very dessert like as well I mean I've got cherry cherry bakewells and stuff in my head so I've got like that frangipan sort of image and not really sweet either there's like a slight sherbetty tanginess coming off on the nose and then you get that like typical like horse blanket yeasty Belgian character coming through right in the background which just sort of like grounds the beer but yeah very very sherbety sort of like the sherbet that you'd put in water or like spirits when you're doing shots that sort of thing it's got that like slight synthetic quality to it but I'm sure this is a very... I'm not sure about the, the history of the brewery or the product. But I'd imagine it is more along the lines of a very traditionally brewed beer. Where they actually use like fruits as opposed to an extract or a juice. I could be wrong though. And I don't really have the best point of reference for a beer like this. So <clears throat> I'm going to be, try and be as, as objective as I can be. But being subjective at the same time. But on the aroma it smells lovely. Yeah, like cherry aid. Yeah, I like it so far. Let's give it a taste. Prost. Even though that's German. Mm. Oh, it 
that's a nice little beer that. Tiny bit of tartness when you initially take it in, but that sweetness comes through. Is that a predator or something like that? Um, yeah, that sweetness comes through, but it's not overbearing. Oh, it's reminded me of like little jelly sweets covered in like slightly tangy sugar. It's like you've literally melted tangy cherry Haribo sweets in a pot. Then like put it through a strainer and then like carbonated it in a soda stream. That's that's the weird journey that this beer's taken me on. And you know what? You can detect that it's a lambic. You get those like sweet, it's like tangy, very delicate, spicy notes. You get that muskiness from that it's like yeast character. But you could probably get away with giving this to a kid and they think it'd be just like cherry aid or something like that. Not that I would ever recommend people give children uh, alcohol, but... Slight syntheticness to it, but not too much. Again, getting like, like images of like strawberry laces as well it's a very like confectionery sort of tasting beer i mean i was getting that like slight cakey bakewell tart impression on the aroma but you're not really getting anything like that on the flavor it's all about those cherries but bad, yeah cherries it's one of those beers where even though it's not really too sickly sweet as you drink it you might not want to do like a full day session on this one because you're probably going to like with what cider does to me. If I drink too much cider, it really hurts my teeth the next day because I've got terrible teeth, of course. But yeah, I'd, I'd imagine this like you'd have that sickly sweet flavour in the back of your mouth when you wake up the next day. And you know, it just lingers a bit. But as it is now, it's just resting nice and subtly. Body is a nice light, light to medium body, I'd say. But yeah, it's like it's like an adult cherry aid. And I was worried that it could be maybe a little bit, even though I like tartness, but like tartness on level work becomes like a, a balsamic vinegar. But there's nothing like that in this beer. But at the same time, I was worried that it'd be really overly sweet. But it has that sort of like jelly sweet made with real fruit juices sort of vibe going on and you know what it's one that i would probably try again um even though personally i'd like to try more examples of the style before i'd revisit some of these beers so i could probably appreciate it a lot more but this was uh, available in one of the local supermarkets and i think that's a perfect beer to have in a supermarket where a lot of the people especially here in germany when you go to the supermarkets and you see craft beer, it's like the rarely accessible stuff like some of the Crew Republic beers, uh, Stone Berlin, uh, the Amazi from Himberg's Braukunst Keller. I'm just going off the local supermarket right now. Then you've got like Schneiderweiss at Unterfentinus and um, then the, the Blanche uh, from the, the Belgian Whip beer. I can't remember what it was called. And yeah, there's nothing in there. That would be too overbearing for a relatively fresh palate. And I think it's a great accessible gateway beer into Belgian beers. But it's got its own merits from my experience with the style. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this one. Not completely my thing, don't get me wrong. Getting like slight rosé wine esters in this as well. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, perfect for summer in the back garden. You know, have this, then have some pims, you know, be all luxurious and stuff. But 
Yeah. It's getting a little bit more tart now as it's warming up, but I'm liking that. Yeah, it's like those those tingly, slightly sour jelly sweets. Really good stuff. So in terms of a rating then on Timmerman's Creek Lambicus, I'm going to give this one a very solid 8 out of 10. Uh, I should say that the best before date is 10th of the 1st, 2019, at 13 minutes past 3 in the afternoon. So it'd be interesting to see something like this, maybe aged for a year or so. And from what I remember paying it, from what, from the cost, I don't think it's going to hurt the wallet too much either. Yeah, 8 out of 10. If you tried it, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What are some of your favourite examples of the style and what other beers from this brewery should I check out? Hit me up with comments and suggestions down below. If anybody who I watch has <coughs> reviewed this on a regular basis, then of course, excuse me, the links will be included in the video description as well. Burping's all part of the tasting process. It's got a nice subtle burp to it. And uh, yeah, check out Timmermans. Check out my um, Belgian beer playlist down below. And more importantly, I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review. Thank you guys for watching, and I got really nasally at the end. Cheers.